For the first time in four races, we can finally say Max Verstappen is on pole once again in Formula 1. The last few episodes, we've driven a few different cars. You know, Red Bull, of course, took a bit of a backseat with Max. We've driven the Mercedes, the McLaren, and the Ferrari. But we are back driving the actual, for the first time ever, the actual Red Bull RB20. I'll leave a link down below as always. Of course, a track laser scanned as always. I'll leave everything down there as always. So let's get into it then, guys. A time to beat an incredible 1 minute 4.314. Verstappen really making the difference this weekend as a driver, you know, showing what he's all about. The sprint, of course, has already happened. And the best time did occur in the actual qualifying just now. So that's the time we're going to try and beat. And we'll see how it goes. Now, currently, we are out on track on a default setup. My first time driving this new RB20. And uh, we have the hard tyres on, so don't expect miracles. But we're going to run a bit of a baseline lap here. Also, we've got that gravel runoff, so we have to be careful. But let's start out and see what we're looking at here. So, DRS open as we begin the lap up towards turn one. Fourth gear, you want to try and take a bit more inside curb there as we understeer off. Now, up towards turn three. This is technically turn two break at about 100 meters second gear try and get on that inside curb and then square the car up and get the exit DRS open for the third time and final time of the lap down towards turn four downhill lots of understeer as the car and track want to get away from you then through five into six long left hander here Use all the curb and runoff, then into seven, which brings us into turn eight, a quick flat right, and then two turns remain, nine and ten at the 50. Turn in, a bit too much inside curb, I think, and then turn 10, big sparks there on the left front as we open DRS up to the line, and our first lap is going to be a one minute 7.4, which isn't actually that bad, to be fair. That puts us exactly three seconds away on hard so uh, definitely potential to go faster attempt number two we now have medium tires on our car so c4s i have half the fuel from 30 to 15 liters and we're now going to run a bit more engine mode on this lap we're going to run balanced on the mg uk so let's see i've kept the wing the same i think it's a pretty decent baseline turn one Still not really troubling the apex, but this time I need to keep it on track. Take a breather as we prepare turn three. Again, we're going to aim for the 100 meter board. On the brakes, try and keep a bit of throttle on mid corner to make sure we don't scrub too much speed at the apex. The RS open again as we head towards turn four. Bring the car to the left. Quite a bit of under second. Probably move the brake fast a bit further back to be fair, I think. Let's keep pushing. Turn six. A bit wide here last time. A bit wide again, but we do carry a bit more speed. Turn seven. Front end gripping up nice. A bit of camber there to help you rotate the car. Watch out for track limits on the exit. And now two more turns. Oh, that was close to the gravel. Really, really bumpy through here. Up to the line we go, DRS, 1 minute 6.8, okay, not as much progression as I expected, tyres are nicely up to temp, but we're now going to get under softs, drop the fuel and run some serious engine mode, and we're going to get a real understanding of what the pace is like around here. Now some of the adjustments I've made, I've upped the tyre pressures a little bit, we are now on the softest tyres, we have 5 litres of fuel in the car, which is pretty much as low as it's going to get and we're now going to run a bit more engine mode i've also upped the wings a little bit to help in those corners so let's see how it all pans out also brake bias a bit more rearward first off turn one this time we do get the apex back and those snaps on the exit that might ruin momentum up towards turn three spot 100 a touch of relocking but we keep it under control up by two and a half tenths in sector one let's see if we can try and sort out turn four here 
braking on the curb, using all the runoff. That was a lot tidier. Now into the double left hander. Trying to stay a bit tighter if possible, use all the runoff again. Especially this one, you get to really use the camber and let the car wash. Okay, this is a good lap, up by eight tenths. This is a bit more like it. Two corners left. Oh, I turned it way too late there. I tried to see how late we could go. Front corner, a bit of a corner cut. Front's overheating as we go up to the line. One minute, 5.9. So that puts us just over one and a half seconds away. Okay. We're getting close. We can work with this. Let's try again. Right then. We're going to run the last of our engine mode. So nothing more to hide. Made some other small tweaks. Ride height. Bit more wing on the front. Kept the rear the same. Brake pressure. Small tweaks. Tire pressure as well. Let's see. Turn one. We're trying to carry a bit more speed this time. That's pretty decent. Best turn one so far, which will give us our best first sector. Now let's try and get the car stopped at turn three. Trying to bit of a different line there, opening up a little bit using the curb to accelerate. We'll find out if that worked or not in the second split. Turn four. Oh, that's a bit deep. I tried to break an eighth gear and then do my downshifts later. Pull sign back on the exit, but I think we might have lost some advantage. Quite a bit of understeer through there. Up by four tenths, though. Let's keep it working and let's see what we can do here to close out the lap. Well, there's a bit of time in these final two corners. That's probably not the right line, though. Still, that felt way quicker than before. Up to the line we go. Can we get anywhere near a four? Just found half a second in that last sector by attacking those curbs in the final two corners so that leaves us six tenths off but that's maximum engine mode minimum fuel so we have to maybe tweak the setup and basically just commit more when driving a small error in turn four to account for so um also turn six definitely time there let's try again very minor changes now. We don't really have much more to do except just committing and carrying a bit more speed. So here we go. Out the final corner. DRS open. Let's hope we can try and find the lap time. Oh, that's a bit scruffy. Bit of a rear lock into turn one. Going to be way down in sector one, but let's try and see if we can improve elsewhere. That's down in sector one. That was really nice though, taking a lot more inside curb there at turn three. That worked pretty well. Now then, turn four. This is where the mistake was last time. Get the nose in early, getting the power down a bit earlier as well to try and use the runoff curb. That was good. Also ran wide here before. I'm gonna get the nose in early again to try and account for that understeer and that wash still down but we gained two tenths but that's track limits okay we'll bail out and we'll go again but we did find two tenths in the middle sector correcting those mistakes and i think there's a bit more there to be found let's try that one again let's see if we can go a bit quicker also with some brake bias adjustments that's a perfect turn one that's the best one yet we're going to move the brake bias forward here for 54 from 52 so that we don't lock the ridge so we can break late into this one. Nice back end though, getting a bit loose mid corner. Break bias back down now for turn four. Back to 52. Bit of a lock up on the way in. Good traction on exit. Quite a bit of understeer through there. Up by two tenths. Let's keep it rolling. Let's try and get this new lap time delta. Still feel like there's more time in these final two corners. That was nice. Oh, bit of rear locking. We somehow survived the drift. And I reckon we'll actually make that work for us. 
Eh, some marginal improvement, but oh my god, we got all crossed up there. There is lap time there. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, let's try and have a better lap start set up. Try and fourth gear. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can improve. Turn one. Also pretty decent, using a bit of the sausage curb, forcing back really aggressive on the wheel. Turn three, here we go. I don't know how I feel about that. That didn't sound too good, but we've got the car stopped very late. Turn four. A bit deep, a bit scruffy in general, but we did break super late. It might work for us. Through the left, that was nice and tight, that was decent. Taking a downshift, but we're down by a tenth and a half. This ain't enough. Last two corners, full send. Oh, that was really close. All crossed up again there through the final corner. Really having to fight the car. Up to the line. Oh, ah, millisecond. Oh, I'm starting to wonder if there's any more. Somehow, we haven't found anything. Even though there's, like, mistakes occurring, I'm not finding that time that I'm, I'm waiting to find. That might be it. It wasn't the cleanest lap, but that might be it. We was a tenth and a half up with the mistake of turn one. I reckon that might have been the lap. This is a challenge. This car is so tough to drive, but I love it. Ouch. I was two tenths up again. Somehow I went quicker. So we know the whole lap is in the first three corners. Turn one, turn three. The rest of the lap's pretty nice. If I can get it together, we might actually be close. I don't think we'll beat Verstappen, but definitely second in terms of the lap times. Bro, I've done a Charles Leclerc. Ugh. I'll take it. I think that's going to be it. That's P2 on the real grid. I probably could beat Max as lap of I was Hill Day, but it's so tough. Turn one, I broke a bit early. Turn three was a bit scruffy as well. Rest of the lap was okay, to be fair. So, yeah. The thing is, 10 corners, they all have to be perfect. If one is wrong, it's a massive deficit. Anyway, we'll take it. Failed, but a decent effort.
So as always, let's break down the setup of the car for this episode. I was running the C5 softest compound possible, 21 PSI front, 19 on the rear. Fuel set to two liters, enough for 2.4 laps, outlap and a time lap, no more. Electronics set to high and motor, I increased the engine brake to 911 from 711, which is a default value. And then the MGK recovery down to 20%. Aero, eight on the front, six on the rear, which did give us a bit more time. And then alignment, I brought the camber in the toe, front and rear more negative to kind of, you know, have more aggressive pace on the tires. Dampers, I kept default brake bias, 54 and 100. Struggled to find a balance here, 53, 52, you know, 85 brake pressure. I went down to at one point, couldn't quite find the balance. Heave dampers, D4 suspension. I increased the front ride height, I believe, by a click. Um, also, roll bars a bit softer front, a bit harder on, on, a bit softer on the rear, a bit harder on the front, should I say? And uh, yeah, other than that, the rest was default. So there we go. We don't succeed in Austria. Max just did an absolutely unreal lap time, but we gave it a good shot. I really enjoyed it, and that was a proper challenge. I'll leave the links down below, guys, for the car and the circuit laser scan track absolutely awesome the last two corners are so damn bumpy it's incredible how challenging it is so check that stuff out as always this is a set of Corsa, not f124 in case that wasn't clear i'm being invited now to create a series so we're going to get in that so in the meantime guys cheers for watching like subscribe as always a big shout out to the members for supporting the channel and the videos as always check out the two videos on screen guys if you haven't seen them already and yeah, i'll see you guys in the next one hopefully it's a fun race and i'll see you soon goodbye